Just need to check a few times, make sure everything's running smoothly. Yep. I to make sure the poker plates works. Usually he doesn't, and uh, I definitely do not want to get excommunicated this early on. Let's do that now. Uh, can I get any alliances? Well, it'll be over my app. Well then, I'm sorry Scotland, but if I cancel that, some of that, and then I will do the same for Provence as well. That is my cheapest province. There we go. Now I've got some money. Start sorting my town. There we are. One duck well, I've got this spinning guy, so uh, that works completely fine. These should be set up all nicely. So I've already got this going. So inevitably I will be converting to Orthodox because it's just better. I've done it before. Really. Yeah, Orthodox France is actually quite fun. Let's get all of this rolling now. Provence? Uh, no, because I'm going to be breaking my alliance with you. So that I can have one somewhere else. Hopefully, right as the Hundred Years' War will continue, I'll be able to uh, grab Aragon. This term will allow me to have just that much more navy. Of course, I'll be breaking them the second war's over, because why the hell would I want them as an ally? It'd be a terrible idea. So get full speed and sit back and relax while we wait for the event. Castile will be a good ally, but Saragon will not, because I'll actually want to invade through them to get to Africa. 
Walker. They don't know that, and so I will use them until then. Level 2 Discipline. Yeah, sure. I'm definitely not going to turn down that. And now the Pope is happy. Marvellous. Spend points securing that, so we have more points. Excommunication. But it's in the HRE. That's not, it's not worth it. Now I should probably be building a spy network in the middle I forgot. Anyway. Come on, game. Don't make don't keep me waiting. This is cheesy. Game likes to throw at me. Yeah, it's probably never going to spawn in now. <laughs> Billy, no. Gnomes, it's definitely possible. Uh, prestige. But I'm going to be at war, so I'll be getting a lot of prestige. Ships to my stomach. There we go. Much better. The game's starting to take the piss now. Come on, give me the event. Speed up to the same one way. You know, this would be some lovely oh way of <laughs> Well, I'm definitely going to abuse that. Thank you very much. Often people say you should put the fast procedure in the top. I beg to differ. I personally find it's better if you uh, actually leave it in the bottom just to secure your border.
Yeah, and there they go, searching down for me. What great bastards. It's nice that they're doing it for once, and I've got glitching, so they seem to be doing a lot more recently. So, yeah, so it's nice to see the change. Stability gain, I think. Yeah, that's expected. Securing main free is always a nice just free land after all. And, uh, especially when it happens, you can use it by doing this and securing more land overall, which is well. You could say no to free land and more land, eh? Oh, and I can pull them to arms if I promise land. Um, sure. The navy would be much appreciated. It's actually means once my ships are done, we will have e um, even strength. That's what the game would say, but it's not true, is it? Because England does an incredible navy due to their. Uh, Ideas and such. Though I think early game they don't, it's just lots of ships. Yeah, it's just infantry combat ability. Siege after all, get it done and dusted, get everything's going nice and smooth. Nothing special there, but I didn't expect anything. I'll take the army professionalism, I don't care if it goes underneath um, 30 loyalty, that's definitely worth it. You yeah, know, I'm not going to send them down yet, I'm just going to siege down now uh, and take all the, the money. From the lands first, I think that'd be uh, better overall. Do I have a remote amount of armies? If I do, brilliant. I may be able to watch the, watch the English fleet somewhat. This is a surprise. Just a simple ship as that. As a cog being destroyed, it's definitely better than nothing. Just fearing something like that might happen. But... Oh, it seems I've caught Portuguese heavies of guard. Will I kill any of them? No, of course not. Let's quickly heal up. There they are. Try and get back down. Send them over there to Lisbon for the start just to get that siege going already. I couldn't initiate that battle, I think I will. Let's 
it's not amazing land, but I do have my discipline advantage. Oh, and a morale advantage. I'll probably get a stack weapon too. Yes, I will. Well, there we are. Provence was excommunicated. Hmm. Scotland, Salzburg, Milan. Milan's good, but... I think the Pope is probably a little better. Oh, and Milan didn't join. Oh, and I could push for a war with them. Burgundy would join, though, and that would make it very difficult. Though, they are at war with Austria. And I just gained attack. So it's getting progressively easier to uh, secure this quite well. I'm going big from the time is right. Um, Marvellous. Let's bring that stack weapon, hopefully. There we go. I do that, I also get their vessel. This is going really well, surprisingly. This was nearly over. How long do I have that claim for? 25 years. Come on, secure it. Maybe you can steal one of their ships, that would be lovely. No. Nope. Nearly one, no. Session already, Jesus.
Mm, yeah, so they pick for. I can secure island, that's something. So I don't really want island, I can actually. Oh, I can secure the Isle of Man. No, I think securing all of that is perfectly fine. Again. Now they left again. Certainly some big wars, but it's worth it. Bourbon D inheritance is already fired. I've already secured lands from the Indians. Shouldn't be too hard to probably fight them next. In fact, I might bring them in an early war, uh, fighting Brittany. Probably be useful. I do need to get the culture. I need to conquer all of England so I can get the culture. All I've got prepared. So that will be really late game because I need to work on first. Revolutionary France and all that. Time for walking over. Yeah, just a couple more months. That'll be gone, then I'll be fighting with uh, Burgundy and Milan. Oh, wait, that was still needed, damn it. I've got a bunch of people in this war still. Yeah, Burgundy was really cheeky. Doing that right as I was already at war with them, doing the inheritance. I was uh, genuinely surprised.
right, we're moving him. So not only can them though during that war if we can. Made it a lot easier to deal with them. to go up a bit more. And well, don't want to get that autonomy too high. I mean, I'd say it already is being a bit worryingly high. Scare them off before they see you. About it. But, yeah, I thought not. It's immediately I bring it up and the game decides to know that's the time that it's going to get siege. Yeah, I'm literally back as expansion to go down before I take it. From these guys, I'll hopefully be able to secure some uh, money. I will be needing it to be safe of the loans I've had from being at war for the past six years. No, he went. Damn it. That's one of the good. That was the last of the two good generals.
is costing me so much. Forbes, but it hell. Of Scotland, does that sound in the music? Not only I will need to fight the Pope to secure that eventually, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Uh, yeah, I think I need to really lower this.
Can I just secure everything for now? <coughs> One of those wards is now time to start getting everything sorted. It's going to be a while, I might as well take up in advance. But actually, I'll wait till the end of the year, it'll be cheaper. They said no to the Iberian wedding. Nice meme. Also, no, we're not keeping you, you're terrible. Though, actually, now I say that. I can get Renaissance. I'll keep the air for now, because if I can get Renaissance with about 50 prestige, then good things happen. And I like good things. They're beneficial. Very it's a surprisingly scary burgundy. Oh great, they joined the Empire. Now it is a terrifying burgundy. And where are my cores then that I get? Seems the game's decided to flick me a little finger and not give me any. Land to invade England anyway. Mm. 
Okay, I can generate the number one. Why don't you use up for five? Um, perfectionism now is only gonna make it easy in the long term. So yeah, I'm going to keep many of them, why not? Oh wow, they got rid of basically where the board starts. Yeah, sure, we can go around. And I knew the infiltration would last long. It's a shame, but... So we have no good time to see what other gun can be in the really weak. Considering they're already united to most of the Netherlands, if they could have formed them, they would actually be quite strong. It would be ideal as well, because I feel they're French landmen. We know that would never happen. 
course it wouldn't. That would be intelligence. And when does the AI do that? <laughs> Should I go for it? Just got Milan, might as well just grab Naples as well while I'm at it. Would be amusing. my uh, dance as well. And there we go. Should make all quite a bit easier. Which force to fall quicker. <laughs> I think it'd be a smart place to end the war quicker overall. Much better for
Now looks of Venice, I suppose then. Could be the next one. Why did I embargo to send? I definitely did not intend to do that. I just I can't embargo then the war just ended. What was I thinking? Well, nothing smart, clearly. <laughs> Some expansion to go down a bit during this war, and well, definitely afterwards, considering I've already secured Milan and I'm about to secure Naples as a personal union, that's a, a lot of land very quickly. <laughs> and then, of course, after that, I'm going to stop going for England as well. And then, from England, I'm going to have to fight to Scotland, then push to Scandinavia, push round, get to a Orthodox province. I mean, I could do it down here, but I want to have the capital in the Balkans, even if it's just briefly. <laughs> I think I'll just do war reps for Venice. Yeah, secure war reps. Wait until I can go to war with them again. Go to war with them again. Give these back to Milan. Maybe we need to gain uh, some lovely land. And then, of course, with Naples, I can go to war with Aragon as well. I go to war with Aragon again. Secure those for free. Would uh, definitely be useful. It's in the army time, I think, although Geneva's got no general, I'll go for him. Unless they put a fast one on me, damn it. I'm going to send him over there to deal with him instead. I've just found out it's going. Close is this to get to? Mm hmm. Okay. Institution speed, I will get fasting so that the Ottomans can't get it. I'll deny them some money and give me some too, which would be very nice. I could find out those other loans I had to take during the war, during the multiple previous wars. Also, hello to the person who's watching. <laughs> Come on, win. Hey. 
was a solid battle. I'll speed it up, I'm ahead of tech anyway. Can you also that army to do with them, I think? Why not? I thought I already embraced it to be fair. This is DLC. Uh, yeah, I have all of the DLC. I love this game. I've got way too many hours on it. <laughs> but uh, I love the game so much that I thought, why not stream while playing it? And people that uh, want to learn something may, may learn something if they... Uh, I don't know if they wanted to learn something they could ask, I'd happily tell them. Jinx myself, but at least it isn't a comet. I don't think I can work, so I think it's worth speeding up now. Uh, my main goal for this save. Is so I want to conquer England to get English culture, but not form England, because, well, I want to be able to expand as I wish, easily get the, the revolution to get a, one of the missions done that I haven't done yet for being revolutionary France, and then right at the end, quickly switch to England, get all those missions done to get Anglophile, and then probably swap to Rome or something for a bit of fun. I also intend on going orthodox, so I'm going to try and push through Scandinavia to get to Novgorod or potentially go down into the Balkans. Because if you have your capital on an orthodox province during the French Wars of Religion, you can actually convert to orthodox for free. It just gives you the option for an event, which is really nice. <clears throat> None of this hassle of rebels slowly taking it over. Just bang, you're done, you've got it.
Hmm. I mean, I've definitely done weirder strategies before. There was a time I uh, started off with Aragon. Um, you know, consulate of the sea. But then I converted to Greek culture and orthodox formed by Byzantium. Then swapped back to Aragonese culture because it was it covered most of Iberia and a giant chunk of uh, northern Africa upon with other provinces here and there. Uh, so that when I formed Rome, I would get all of its Roman culture. Because Roman culture, when you form uh, Rome, spawns in from what your primary culture was and replaces it. It's actually probably worse because it doesn't give you anything. It just looks nice. But it means you don't have a cultural union because there's no other for, um, lost culture in the game other than Roman. Unless you've used custom nations. Very few, very few people use those because the, you, you don't get any events or anything, so they're just relatively boring. And there we go. of a coalition, but I mean, I don't care, I've already secured Milan and Naples, I mean, that's, I'm actually quite impressed with myself with that. Despise Burgundy for keeping to themselves during the inheritance and then somehow managing to join the HRE as well. Oh, so it's, it's, it's definitely put a spanner in my works. How are we doing with Venice? Uh, well, I do have an intention for Venice with Milan, yes, I'm going to give them those two provinces back with the uh, ones here for Naples, yeah. Though I already took Malta as an easy one of the two ways I've used in preparation of invading Africa. Along with the monument here is disgusting. <laughs> to say the least, it's definitely one of the most powerful in the game. screwed over then. Austria is no longer the uh, Holy Roman Emperor. No, I don't want to steal. Go, screw you, Watermans. Suck him in that man power back. So we would actually much rather do that for the money, allowing me to secure some much more important things. Is that? Is that one? Yes, it is. That's the thing it was. Let me help my economy out a bit. And finally, mm, should I bother with training? Actually, uh, nah, I think it's probably better just to drop this and get some extra passion. Hmm. 
Do I have burger loans? Yes, I do. I'm paying them off. I've got two left. Change your policy. Well, I don't care about the loans. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, I took them out initially as uh, well. I was waging a lot of the wars. I was uh, England actually gave up Maine, and so I declared war in them before I clicked the event. So while, so then as I was at war with England, I got a free Maine. Used that just so I could more easily secure my coast. Then I had the option. Uh, what was it? Uh, Provence was excommunicated, so I went after them with the Pope and secured a bunch of land from them. Uh, then uh, during the war. With Provence, which I was still at war with England, I got the PU capabilities on Milan, so I went to war with that, which meant I was at war with England, what was it, England, Provence, like three HRE nations, all of Burgundy, Milan. <laughs> so it got quite interesting, so I needed the money. Mainly just because my uh, ego was slowly going down, and because I'd kind of forgotten to state Normandy after finally taking it when the Kingdom War ended. Definitely didn't help my eco. Uh, I know I can, it's only a couple of small things, so my intention. As I said, because I want to get poor, I want to get English culture as my dominant culture. Is I want to start stating English culture, which is when I'm going to be going to war with England very soon. That's why I'm trying to build more ships, and I've got enough strength to. Uh, well, other than the heavy ships, I've got enough strength to invade them. So I want to take them and state them. Also, um, I think they might be getting screwed over by Scotland just a uh, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Scotland. Cancel that and then do it again all of a sudden. <laughs> well, that's saved ducats. I should take the burger loans out again to try and build some manpower buildings or something. I wonder, could I get away with a threatening war? <laughs> Nearly! Ooh. They didn't have their alliances and such. Maybe it would be closer, but still, don't, still wouldn't make it, sadly. Milan already, the amount of inventory I would control is, is insane. <laughs>
might as well produce, uh, should I say, increase the production in, in uh, Paris. Plus the paper is uh, quite a bit of paper to me, but... It's always nice to have cheap advisors. If you've ever played with the mandate, you've realised how, how insane some cheap advisors can actually be. So I managed to get a level 5 advisor down to I think it was something like between that hits a month. Yeah, I mean, I have just, be I have just beaten them in the war, didn't I? But, still got peace with them. Actually lost ships. I th I think that's a free invasion. With Castile, it's yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> it's definitely an invading the moment. I don't care if I lose that position. <laughs> no, my intention is I want to get English culture so I can convert to Great Britain right at the end of the game. Because I've got... I haven't done one of the missions for Revolutionary France, and so I want to get that done. And I've thought, well, I've got missions of both England and France to do, and it's just easier to take over England as France than it is to take over France as England. At least in my personal experience. So I'm going to do the revolutionary mission right near the end. Then, because I already will be English culture. I will then just swap, tag swap to England and Great Britain. Get all those missions done, get Anglophile. And then, well, I'll probably only with Europe to be fair at that point. So I'll probably form Rome or something as a icing on the cake. I'll be keeping French ideas until the Roman ideas are choosable, because those ideas are quite nice. Probably save and restart the game soon because if the game, if I somehow lose connection to the GeForce now that I'm using, uh, the entire save will be lost, which would be devastating. progress in the money. Oh, 
I'm also two techs ahead. Yeah, this is no, no wonder. That <laughs> tech is uh, abysmal. Seems to be insane amount of points. I mean, to be fair, he is the Pope. Find me there. Brief stretch. Send them to rest, so I know they can be to engage. That shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, even if they close join, there we go. Got one of their ships. Definitely steal the trade. I would be mad not to. In fact, I'm still grabbing stuff like that. Why don't I? It would be horrible. But why don't I do something like that? Yeah, so if I do that, then I've secured all of their trade. Also, it splits them into four, which is funny. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I just a heavy hold up. I think that's the most of them in uh, England. I think I'll, I'll leave London. Oh, that 
is disgusting, but it works. And that's um, also what matters, really. Anything else I can, I will get that far quality quantity, sorry, so I can get an extra depilation, sorry. Sir and I have been too over my limit for the longest of times. Now I'll start planning going after Denmark. station as well, so I can't complain about that one, really. It's always beneficial to get rid, get rid of a bit of devastation, get some prosperity in. People tend to not realise how good um, prosperity can actually be, especially on the gold province, because it makes 25% more of what it was making, which when you're in, uh, when you've got that benefit of the uh, Inca or the Aztecs, yeah, with their monuments, it is, it's like eight ducats extra. You get an entire gold province for free, basically. Just on one, because they get a benefit of like 3.5 extra goods produced on gold on like specific gold provinces. Inca even better because they get it on they get bonus on two gold provinces. Aztecs only get it on one. Unless you get very lucky in the spawning of the provinces when you colonize them. Yes, they are, because they're allied to the Ottomans. I need to put my phone on charge, which is what I'm using in chat. As it's about to die. There we go. Yeah, they are an issue, though I'm probably going to have a navy the Ottomans can't deal with, um, deal with, and I'll just go to war with them, or like, just after I go with the Mamluks. They would coast Oh, you're on about the raiding. Um, yeah, usually I just don't bother. I, I usually find it easy just to invade them <laughs> than to waste money on those buildings. So it, it is definitely... Definitely can be a good idea. And usually is. Yes. Okay. The leader I forgot to kill. Annoying. Yeah, I'm not. Now let's switch out these again. So, Polska. And Russia. Oh, 
all know the bird to join the coalition anyway, but basically no one else that can join it. Force them in because I want to kill them and then bring the troops back just in case they're doing the coalition and they want to do something spicy. I'm trying to avoid, uh, the reason I'm often possibly wasting my points is because I'm trying to keep from developing any of France because I want to be developing England so that I can actually get enough of the development I need to make it my full culture. Something that I don't know how much of the game you know about, but if you're not particularly well understood of the game, I will say anything that uh, I'll try and answer anything that you ask. So, from what you're saying in the chat, I assume you probably are. So that's not what I want. Burgundy suits. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're in the HRE. I know Austria isn't the HRE leader anymore, but it's still annoying. Though it looks like I'll probably make it. Yeah, get Aragon out quickly. But then I've got all the aggressive expansion to worry about as well. My main aim is actually going to be push through Scotland, get uh, that border with Norway, and then invade Norway so I can get to Russia as quickly as possible to prepare for when I get the Wars of Religion. The Wall of Defense would also be good, the Tower of Poland. That's, more of an, that's even more of an annoying battle. I could do this Aragon fight to beat up Burgundy, do that, fight Burgundy during the war, make them break alliances or something, make them pay me, then the process, give this back to Naples. And if I do that, I'll be securing these three provinces, uh, well, probably these five for myself. Yeah, I think that's what I will do. We'll go Burgundy. I am... I could. Though that would bring in... Yeah, loads of people. And then Landschut, who's... Oh, Bohemia and Austria. I'd have to fight loads of people. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm, I'm not going to co obliterate them if that's going to happen. I'm 
I'm not shampy, I'm just getting the easy wars. Not easy at wars. this this is this is my favorite evil song by the Legion clansman one of the few evil songs i actually listen to outside of eu4 right amazing song myself There we go, they deleted all the forces, here, so it'll be an easy siege. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna take from Burgundy. Considering I'm on a very tight schedule when it comes to risk expansion at the moment. I'm watching to see what happens with that battle. That's not good. Sunny rest, and I'm gonna send it round and deal with the lands down here. Let's see. Probably have to deal with a couple of nations first on my way though. what I'm wanting from this war. As we see, it doesn't affect too many people. And it gives me all the land that I want. So actually, I could grab that as well. I'll probably prepare, prefer... Marrakesh, Sus, Tapalo, get that gold mine. I'm gonna fight, uh, yeah, when I fight Marrakesh, I'm bring tuners and break the alliance with the Ottomans. That'd be very nice. Siege. Well, I can actually just get around them. That's what you can see. Oh, 
really need to start building those production buildings. A lot of my economy will be coming from those, of course. So then usually France, uh, France is the economy of uh, production more than trade, just due to the amount of provinces and development that they have. Might be time for cannons. It's not soon. Though I don't know, because they will be costing. I'll be wanting to save money up for building well, all sorts of manufacturers, manpower buildings, barracks, production buildings. I wonder if it would be a worthy trade off. Probably. Maybe if I only used six. If they were three on each, it would probably be worth it. Single of all Scott, yes they are. And they're winning this time. Me stuck unintentionally, god damn it. How much am I getting from... Oh, Jesus, that's quite a lot of war reps. Well, I still have uh, a that line. Mm -hmm. Build up spy networks around here. Start preparing the invasions of Africa. Of course, if I can secure my way down, 
Very nice gold provinces. I think I might just go for it all. It's not that much of a coalition. Doesn't seem too bad. I don't know why I can't start when I've got an alliance with the Pope. Develop now, what's that say? So once it's nothing too much. Uh, I don't think I'll get the points I need them after all. Get the next attack. Thank you. 
well. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you all later. Goodbye.